Welcome to episode two of This Dirty House for Rennell Reed TV. Today we're going to clean Rennell's bathroom. It's pretty dirty in there. It's not bad. It's pretty dirty. <laughs> Just go in here to the bathroom. We'll use the hot water. Up the fancy you no know, soap. Just going to start with a damp rag. I squeeze it out. Pick a spot on the ceiling and you just start at the top and what do you do right now? Work your way down to the bottom. That's right. Remember from our last episode, gravity. Exactly. Gravity. Let it be your friend when you're cleaning this dirty house. You can see the light switch in the door jam. They're nasty. Touch them with your hands. People touching them. Dirty, filthy. So what do you do? You take some of this Clorox and you just ape shit like that. Spray it. Don't let it get too far down like that or stay for too long because it will bleach streaks. So hit it up right away. But then you can disco. That's a disco clean right there. And bam, look at that. And the door jam's clean. And automatically you've got like a 99% cleaner surface like germs like nastiness, the, like the all of that commercial. yeah kills 99.99% right and there you go I want to do high first and go low So just a quick wipe, you can see this is kind of like a crazy wallpaper. I don't want to get it too, too wet or anything like that. You know, most times I might get a wall painted up in a bathroom. I'll really wet it down and let, let the water get in there and do, do its job. But this wallpaper doesn't really need it. It's kind of a crazy thing. But I can see as we get closer, there's some splashes down there. So I might do this. And just a quick splash of the Clorox on the low, low part of the wall here, and then get right on it. Put a wet rag. This is probably going to be the last of this rag because it's hitting this nasty ass floor, so it's going to become a floor rag. Oh yeah, you got some cheese in between the floor jam. You get a overall clean pretty well, but the edges. It's all about the edges and the corners, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get those edges and the corners clean, it's all clean. So that's one wall. Wham! So basically, yeah, you just repeat the process. We did that wall, now we'll come over here and we'll do this wall. We'll start by doing the door. No reason you don't do the door, you know? Wipe the door down, then you can close the door and do the other side of the door. Some people never, ever, ever, ever clean a door, but there's why not? <laughs> Why not? So, just a quick wipe of the door right now. Because I'm trying to, you know, get to the point of all this bathroom cleaning, which is that nasty motherfucker right down there called the toilet. And that's, that's nasty. That's what people don't want to do. That's what most people see in the bathroom and they're like, oh my god, I gotta clean the fucking toilet. If you clean that fucking toilet, every time you use it, you give it a quick squirt. And, and it ain't nothing, and you don't ever have to deal with it. But if you let it get funky, you got a gas station toilet on your hands, and that happens in a lot of people's lives. I've seen it so many times, cleaning places. And you know, I come over and I see people have cleaned the bathroom up a little bit, and I can tell they've actually cleaned it up because they're embarrassed to even have me see it as dirty as it is. But I can tell, I can tell they've cleaned it a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Start out with this stuff, you gotta give it a nice shake and then just let it fly on the fucking let it fly on for a little bit. Get some of it around. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, in true Renell Reed fashion, halfway through the taping, the camera ran out of battery. We had to get a new camera. So what I did while uh, he was getting a new camera is I just it wiped oh you play okay. I just wiped down the front of this and I sprayed down what I call the vial area, which is the area around the toilet. I, I used the toilet brush and hit that. I gave a good dose of the Clorox, a little bit of Windex, 
and a shot or two of this uh, scrubbing bubbles to create like a mix on the toilet itself. Now with the toilet, you want to go paper towels, just a couple starting top to bottom, because you really want to get a toilet dry cleaned. You want to get all the shit off and you want to use, see how I'm up here where butts don't touch? And now I go to here where butts don't touch. And then I go to the back of here where butts don't touch. And this is where it all changes. This is where everything changes. Butts, I'm touching butt parts. This is where butts touch. That's butts parts. And now this is underwear butts touch. This is really the dirty and the nasty of the toilet. This is it. I've cleaned the interior now, and now I'm touching a spot that makes me a lot of times just kind of go, ooh, that's, you know, but those toilets, that's how you make your money. That's how you make your money. Not how you make your money. You're smart, you listen to your teachers. I do it this way. Ah. But I get it nice and clean. Ah. Index is a miracle. Stop. Especially flat. Mm -hmm. Long glass surface like this, I just like to pour that shit on. Let the Windex do. Let gravity do the work now. Sometimes. Let the Windex get in there and just. It just clean off all the pumping up. And I got a nice piece of paper towel, but I do the smaller piece of the paper towel. Top to bottom. Try to keep it as neat and clean. Of it with that first initial clean it up, get all the smooshes and the smooths and the snotties and all that other stuff that's around. If you know you get some snotties on there, my friend, don't you? Who doesn't get snotties on there? We're human, we're made of snotties. That's why nobody likes to clean the bathroom. Trust me, I don't like to clean the bathroom either. When I'm done cleaning the bathroom, I get in the shower. That's the way it works. Because I'm dirty <laughs> with bathroom funk on me. So I clean off the bathroom funk. Oh, look at that, man. That's like a that sexy motherfucker right there. All right. Time to finish this here. There you go. Mirror's done. What we'll do since the mirror's right there and right below it is the sink. Let's crazy Clorox the sink, huh? A lot of times on the sink, you don't really need to bust out the sponge. You may. The sponge itself, I like to use that for the tub. Because a lot of times tubs will need it. And uh, don't forget about the shower curtain too, because the shower curtain can hold a lot of funk and grime. You know, it's definitely something that you want to clean from time to time. Especially when you got a nice one like Renell Reed's got the uh, New York City Skyline shower curtain. Very lovely. So when you're doing the tub, you use a sponge like that, a little uh, gritty. Because the tub's usually got some gritty. All right, so you start the shower. The shower's gonna be a two-part thing. I'm gonna do three walls, from top to bottom. Well, actually three, and then I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the shower curtain, which is a whole other thing. And then I'm gonna do the uh, floor of the shower, trying to clean it off. So I start by, you know, the Clorox Windex mixture with a little shot of the uh, scrubbing bubbles. Okay, so same old thing, top to bottom. I'm just getting a little hot water on my sponge and then just hitting the whole thing, man. Get it off. Oh, I got a bunch of paint chips down here. I'll have to clean those out before I move on. But that's basically it. I'm gonna, you know, do the same thing on the uh, on the inside and outside of the uh, shower curtain. But that's basically it. That's that's how you clean a bathroom. And this bathroom was. It was bad. Now it's just a little dripping wet. We'll wipe it down and dry it out. But this is uh, this is how you clean a bathroom on uh, this dirty old house. See you next time. If you like what you've seen, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. 
and don't forget to light up that bell so you don't miss anything. <laughs>